are live. Welcome to Glamo's Closet, guys. Good morning. Oh my goodness. Ah, I've always, I, oh, I was just about to go live <laughs> and I was like, am I about to burp? And then I coughed. It's a good morning. Happy Easter, everybody. <laughs> That's a weird morning for me. All mornings are weird mornings for me. Mm. So let's jump in and say hello to the chat. We have a lot going on this morning. Good morning, Cajun. Mwah. Good morning, Johnny, my love. Hello, good morning, and happy Easter to you and Roberto. Regina, good morning. Hi, it's good to see you. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Lin Lin, good morning. Good morning. Oh, no. Happy Easter. She lost an hour sleep. Clocks moved forward last night in the UK. So it's 3.45 p.m. now. Dinner is in the oven and will be ready soon. Yeah. You can call me anything. Just don't call me late for dinner. There's Miss Idaho, the queen of all the taters. I just made the most fantastic potato salad I think I've ever made. Um, and Miss Idaho, I hope you are having a wonderful morning as well and eating uh, eating good, good, delicious Easter food. Good morning, Sissy. She had her um, she had her booze uh, reviews last night, and um, oh my god, I was laughing so hard. It's adult content, so you know, just FYI. Um, but the movie is adult content, so of course it's adult content. To be able to react to it, you have to, you know, you have to sort of be on that page. Um, but oh my lord, have mercy! I I just laughed and laughed. I I just cracked up the whole night. Good morning, Brenda. Hello, my heart. Good morning. It's good to see you this morning. And you're right. She was a riot last night. I was laughing so hard. Is the bottle empty? I bet that bottle was bone dry. <laughs> oh, surprisingly, no. Well, we can finish it off today. Aisha, dancer. Good morning, my show me homie. Mwah. Hello. I hope things are well in Jeff City. And there's Jennifer Hayes. Good morning, sweetheart. Big, big hugs to you this Easter. There's Anne. Hi, Anne. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. I was trying to do a little Easter thing, and, and I don't know if it worked out for me or not. I probably look more like a toddler than anything else, which, you know, you'd be comfortable if you saw Carrie's review last night. Denise, hello, good morning. I hope the Magical Emporium is still magical. I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. You're subscribed to way too many people. It's just my husband and I this year, my husband is going to do smoked chicken wings for dinner. That sounds delicious. I mean, smoked chicken wings, heck yeah. I'll, I'm a chicken wing fan. Big fan of just gnawing the meat right off the bone. I'm, I'm pretty good with that. Um, I know there are some people who would eat it with a knife and fork. I am not that guy. I'm uh, far too Midwestern for that. I'm going to, you know, put on a ribbed tank and sit out on my porch and, you know, eat a pork chop and watch the neighbors. I'm okay with that too. <laughs> Jocelyn, good morning, Josie. How are you, baby girl? It's good to see you this morning. Happy Easter. And there's our frequent flyer. Hello, P. Murph. Good morning. That's my brother from another mother stopping in to say hi and light up that thumbs up. I will ask you um, if you if you do uh, if you do like to watch dancing, um, you can maybe please tango your little thumb over on the button and push enter on that and, and hit that uh, thumbs up. I, I like that. Currently sitting on the porch. The weather is incredible. Yeah, we had like. Um, we had such, oh my God, Patrick, I see. Uh, we had such good weather for the past few days. 
So, <laughs> so here's some fun. So Thursday night overnight, I have, uh, I had my two oldest grandchildren. And when I say oldest, they're not old. They're, you know, they're still, they're still kids. Um, but, uh, but so we all went out to dinner and then we came home and did arts and crafts. Cause I really prefer if I can to keep them off of this as much as possible. Right. Um, I just, I want to be able to create memories with them, like real memories. So, um, so we did arts and crafts and, oh, I didn't bring it in. There was a, 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 a long story short, they went through a lot of my packing tape and all of my, almost all of my cotton balls, but it, we had a, we had a blast. We had fun. And then the next morning um, we woke up and we had, uh, we had smoothies and then, um, and then we went out on the back deck once the, once my other grandchild got here, my baby, um, she's a, she's the toddler. And uh, so we all went out on the back deck. Now I had laid out, I had carefully laid out big cook, two giant cookie sheets and I covered them in brown paper and I had all the little egg dye cups set up and I had all of the boiled eggs out there and we were dyeing Easter eggs. And and um and you know it's sunshiny it's beautiful outside there's just a very gentle breeze the dogs are with us the dogs tails are wagging the baby's you know the baby's just enjoying herself she's got her little sunbonnet on she's just so cute um and my grandchildren are on either side of my outdoor deck table uh dying easter eggs about three eggs in they were like, I wonder if I put, if you peel the egg, will it still die? And I said, I don't know, give it a shot. That started, <laughs> that started. So they're, they're like peeling the eggs and dying them. And then they, and then they uh, wonder if they're good to eat. And I said, well, take a bite. It's food coloring. It's, you know, it's meant for consumption. So they took a bite and then their mouths were dyed and then they decided to start throwing them at each other. And then they decided to start throwing unpeeled or peeled eggs, like, you know, to the dogs because the dogs loved them and they jump up and do the tricks and the babies, the babies squealing and, and, you know, just doing circles around the table while they, while the kids are like deconstructing eggs. And pretty soon there's like eggshells and food dye and like everything all over my deck and the baby's picking them up, trying to eat them. And I'm trying to keep her from eating them. And the thing is this, it sounds like utter chaos. And it was, and it was fantastic. The thing I love, I love, 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 love um, to be able to give my grandchildren a feral child moment. I love it. I don't think there is anything better for kids um, than fresh air and sunshine, except for laughter. And they laughed and laughed and laughed. I mean, they were just cracking up and having a wonderful time. And, and the sun was shining and the dogs were barking and, you know, and they're eating, eating all the eggs they can hold. And, and, you know, there's dye all over the place. And, and, you know, it, it was just nuts. And it was so fantastic. And I encourage you, sometimes chaos is the worst it's the worst. And it does take a lot. Trust me, it took me forever to clean up this mess outside and inside. Um, but it was a hundred thousand percent worth it. I would not trade that moment for anything in the world. And I think that it's good for them. You know, sometimes you, sometimes you just let loose and, and you know, what was I going to, it's not like somebody's going to bring me a, a gold medal for having the best dyed eggs. You know, I mean, that I'm not dying them for me. I don't need dyed eggs. I need dyed eggs for. So they just had so much fun. And I just absolutely embraced that moment. I, I just embraced it with both hands. Um, and so I hope that your Easter weekend, I hope that that any of your weekends and that your memories with your kids or your grandkids or your nieces or nephews or any of the kids in your life, I hope they include a little bit of chaos because I, I think that there's there's something to be said for that. There is something to be said for that. And at long story short, I had a wonderful, wonderful time with them. Hello, Collect with Kelly. Mwah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's good to see. Good to see you here. Thank you all for being with us. Yeah, it was such a great memory. 
And it was. It was amazingly chaotic and wonderful. Good morning, Moody Maximalist in training. Good morning. And tackle hugs to you, Ronnie. Nita J, good morning. How are you this morning? Happy Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs> um, yeah, I was thinking last night, I was like, oh, I should prepare something that has like, you know, the history of Easter or whatever. I really don't want to get into that today. You know what I did? I watched, <laughs> oh Lord, guys. I watched, um, I watched that new docuseries, Quiet on the Set. Uh, the dark side of kids TV. And I, because of that, here's, here's the thing. Um, if you, if you know about, you know, predators and things like that, and if you've had any experience whatsoever, um, we're just going to take it dark just for a second. And then I promise we'll, we'll go back in the light. Um, you know, that, uh, you know, that it takes a lot of processing and thinking and, and, uh, and all of that. Um, so I need a few days to process uh, and, and remove my emotions from the equation. Um, so I'm going to, uh, oh, uh, by the way, Moody Maxil Maximalist, um, you can actually buy it outright. Uh, you don't like being gray in Glamour's closet. I can't, I don't think I can turn you at this point. I, I don't know. Nope. Sorry, I can't turn you from my end um, while I'm uh, live on StreamYard, I guess. Um, but if you know, you know, if you know anything about about um, about, you know, predatory sort of situations, uh, you know that this this is something that takes uh, some time to process. It takes some you have to you have to kind of, you know, look at it from you have to get a little bit of distance from the emotions. So because of that, um, I will probably be doing just a salty treat this week and doing a, a reaction video, not a review. That is, that is uh booze booze. Boo does the amazing reviews. Um, but I may be doing a little bit of a reaction to that and just kind of talking about that subject in general. It's a very touchy subject, very, a subject that I have to be very, very careful with. Um, but also one that, you know, I don't think is going to be, uh, yeah, the girl that walked away from Zoe 101. Yeah. There's a new episode, uh, out on April 7th. Um, it's, uh, yeah. At eat predators. Yeah. Yeah. They say eat the rich. I'm telling you eat the predatory. Um, so, so, uh, this week I'll have a pop-up live at some point. Um, and if you miss it, don't worry, you can rewatch it later, but, but we'll talk a little bit about that because it is a, it is an important subject. Um, yeah, I, I think everybody knows that Veronica Mitka is the, uh, moody maximalist. Um, and so if you'd like to subscribe to that channel, there we go. Does gifting memberships change their color? It should, I think, I think it should. Yes. I'm going to say, yes, I think it should, but I don't know because I don't, I don't know if anybody's ever gifted memberships on my channel before. No, nobody's gifted memberships yet. I've been watching content about it, but I didn't watch the whole doc yet. Yeah. Um, I do have a, uh, my nephew is very, very camera friendly. Um, he's absolutely beautiful and, and very comfortable on camera and very, very, you know, very practiced and adult about it. Um, so I, uh, I, you know, I'm like, honey, <laughs> uh, I, I told his mother, I'm like, you may want to watch this, um, just in case, you know, he ever ends up in Holly weird. So, uh, so that's really, oh my God. Veronica uh, B, thank you. Let's see who got, oh, let's find out, shall we? Thank you, Veronica. I don't know who got the membership. It didn't say, I don't see it. Um, oh, it did go to Jennifer. Aw. 
I don't see that it changed her color yet. Oh, is she green now? Okay. I'm not, it, it's the weird thing with StreamYard is that, is that you don't know for sure if somebody's changed color yet or not. Oh man, I was getting the rubber gloves on for science time. Yeah. <laughs> I only see Kelly is green. Okay. Well, now I'm green. There we go. I only see Kelly is green. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure why. Everyone else is blue to me or gray. Interesting. Yeah. I'm I maybe there's something that you have to only green from where it said I was gifted. Now I'm blue again. Ah, okay. That's weird to me. So anyway, we'll we'll circle back around to that. But it's Easter, and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to drag. I just don't want to drag down the conversation too much, and I'm too close to it right now. I mean, I honestly. The change will be if they're not mod. If they're mod, you will see the star next to their name. Ah, okay. Got it. Got it, got it. Okay, so that would be green if it wasn't a mod. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and uh, I need to make sure that Johnny is a mod as well. Um, because he is uh, welcome to sell on my channel, of course. Um, so let's jump in just a little bit uh, to some of my notes. Um, the Closet News, the Sunday morning live each week at 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Mountain, 8 a.m. Pacific. Uh, and that is 4 a.m. in Hawaii, two, no, 4 a.m. the following morning in Australia, and uh, 4 in the afternoon, now 3 in the afternoon in Great Britain in UK because of daylight savings time. So uh, I think that's correct. Um, the uh, also, let's see, Kelly, that's why you're green. I gotcha. Okay. Dodo. Hello, Dodo. Hello. Happy Easter, Dodo. It's good to see you, baby. Oops. <laughs> I love it when things make sense. They, things rarely make sense to me, but. So we need to gift non-mods. I'm not sure we have a choice over who we gift to also. I also love Glamma's uh, headband bow situation. <laughs> it's a silly one. I usually wear it when I'm wearing like pajamas because I have like these um, blue, these blue, most of my pajamas are blue. These are blue striped. Um, so you have like these blue pajamas. And blue is, of course, my favorite color. But I totally it so I can, if I buy enough, I can. <laughs> I'm not going to stop you. It's Kajut. <laughs> it's silly, but it's, you know, it felt Eastery and, and I'm still half awake, so why not? Veronica, <laughs> you get a membership and you get a membership. That's very sweet, Kelly. <laughs> very, very sweet. So uh, let's talk. Let's get into fashion news just a little bit. Um, Women's Wear Daily has reported that due to the viral mob wife mob wife trend, furry coats are going to be in demand for fall. Okay, so if you sell uh, fashion, or if you are garage selling. Um, this summer, if you're a reseller, uh, just keep an eye out for those. Um, and I think for both the faux furs and the real furs, um, I always keep my eye out for real furs because, you know, you can send real furs to the real real and get some money for them. Um, and I think this, uh, yeah, do you, that's the question. Do you want to store a big furry coat? And you have to store them in, in an air-conditioned area. Otherwise, the oils in the coat are, um, are not going to be safe or good. So, uh, oh, my God. 
Mm, do I want a big furry coat? Yeah. You remind me of Rosie the Riveter? Oh, <laughs> I like that. Oh, my God. Kelly. Good Lord. Yeah, flexing out here. You're awesome. You are awesome. I got just the thing for you. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, Kelly. Oh, you didn't want to be alone in the green. <laughs> I think that's just you being absolutely exceptionally generous. Thank you so much. Mwah, what a wonderful, lovely thing. Oh, look at that. There's Johnny. He's green. He's green now. We're gonna turn some, we're gonna turn some folks green. That's right, Kelly showering the Easter blessings. making it rain. That is so sweet. Kelly, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now play it again for mine. I should have. I'm getting, I'm, I'm just now kind of getting used to these, uh, these videos. So um, I apologize if I don't, if I uh, forget to play them from time to time, but, but truly thank you. Thank you, Veronica, uh, for gifting Jennifer this morning. Thank you, Kelly, for gifting every freaking buddy else that 10 memberships. That is, oh, wow. That's incredible. I'm, I'm so, I'm blown away. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Aunt Boo is listening and cleaning now. Again, got to get ready for the Glam Fam Easter Gala. That's right. We're headed over to Aunt Boo's. I have made potato salad and um, and deviled eggs. And deviled eggs are, are uh, I was just telling, uh, I was talking with, with uh, Asia Dancer about this last night. Um don't I have a white furry coat? Hell yeah, I got the Yeti, honey. Yes. Mm -hmm. I got the abominable no man. Okay. It was a it was a a wonderful birthday uh gift to myself from uh well, technically from Glampa. He's like, I don't know, get yourself a whatever. And I'm like, okay, I'm getting a white furry coat that cost you a lot of money. And it was fun. Yeah, the yet the Yeti is legend. Legend. Wait for it. <laughs> Good morning, Tommy. Mwah. Hello. My white coat has super long sleeves and lots of straps. <laughs> Kelly, that's funny. Does it does it connect in the back? Is it like a big hug? Yeah, we kind of made it a legend, and it's gotten it it got a lot of uh it got a lot of really positive feedback. I can tell you that. <laughs> When I wore it out to bars or wherever, and I just, you know, I love it. Maggie Doodle, my favorite fashionista. Good morning. We were just talking about uh, furry coats and furry things that, um, including like fleeces and stuff like that. Um, so furry things are going to be very in this fall with the mob wife style. Um, and I'm going to say mob wife style because, you know, who knows if they're actually wives of mobsters or whatever. Um, and, or if the guys are actually mobsters, who knows? So, um, but the mob wife, mob wife style, the viral style is going to be a uh, very, very fluffy this fall. So um, I, and it's just an opportunity for sourcing. If you're, if you happen to notice that, you know, you see something out that that's like my Yeti or something fluffy or furry, faux fur, real fur, whatever you can find. Um, I, it's something to kind of keep an eye out for, I think. I so regret not getting a catwalk video. We really did. I did the catwalk. I, I was like, I was striking poses and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, I, I just was so overjoyed when I found that piece. It was just beautiful. Yes, Teddy Coats. They were talking about those too, Maggie Doodle. Yeah. Yes. 
I, it was all of that. Yes. Kelly, you're exactly right. Oh, okay. Maggie just put out a new video this morning, guys. Um, check it out. Make sure and check it out. Hit that link. And she is a fashionista, so keep an eye. Keep an eye. She's one of my favorite fashionistas. Um, she loves fashion like I love fashion, and, and I really love fashion, so I know she does too. Um, also, Coach just dropped a new denim bag. Um, so... If you see a denim that says coach, it it's there, there's every possibility that it could be real. Just make sure and check the creed because the creed's not going to change. The creed information is not going to change. Make sure it's seven digits. Make sure it has the capital N, lowercase O, line underneath. Um, and and yeah, um, but I exactly, Jennifer, thank you. Why? Um, there's a, uh, there's a, apparently a need for a denim purse. It's not that I hate denim bags. No, I don't hate them. Um, I just don't like the idea of my favorite brand of leather making a blue jean bag. Now the good news is that this, I think the Soho version of that is, I think that's the one that they make with recycled denim. So I do like the idea that they're using, that they're repurposing denim and that they're, you know, saving it from landfills and all that stuff. Yeah. I know denim purses are in, I just don't have, I don't have to, just because something's trending doesn't, does not mean that I love it. Um, Janties. Perfect example. Just to, just because something's trending doesn't mean that I have to love it. Angry Otter. Good morning, my angel, Michael. Happy Easter, Glamma and Cat. Chat. Chat. Denim purses are in. Yeah, the thing is that it it's, you know, and if that's your personal taste, go for it. Um, I'm more of a traditionalist when it comes to coach. I just like the old vintage leather. So, yeah. Janties. Oh, I, I, I'll tell you what janties are. They're uh, jean panties. They're exactly what they sound like. Janties are to panties what what jorts are to shorts. I just can't. I, I can't even. What's jauntiest? <laughs> Chat. Or a cat, if anyone has one. Yeah, you know, some some of us have cats. I don't have a cat, but some some so some of us do. I'm just saying they're in. You might want to sell them. Yeah, I would sell them if I came across one. Of course, I would sell it. Um, I would not carry it, but I sell a lot of stuff that I wouldn't wear or carry. You know, I mean, I I just some of it's just age inappropriate. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm a very you know, despite my mouth. I'm, a, I'm actually kind of a conservative um, dresser. I, 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 my, dre my method of dressing is very sort of conservative Midwestern grandma, <laughs> um, you know, with a little bit of kick, with a, with a Yeti or maybe a kicky pair of heels or something. Ooh, jongs, jong, ja jong, jong, jong. <laughs> oh, we can do it now. Yeah. Yeah, and exactly. Hell no. Just because you can make underwear out of jeans, out of denim, doesn't mean that you need to. It's one of those, yeah, Brenda, exactly. It is so yucky. Oh, oh, jongs. Let me, joxers, I guess. I don't know, joxers, jeeves. Yeah, it's it's gotten to the point. It's it's a little silly with the denim, but you know what are you gonna do? It is what it is, and it's what's in style. Um, in reselling news, I do want to read you this email that I got from uh, Macari. I got it. I think yesterday. Janties make my bits cringe just thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, that will make yes. It it's yeah. My bits too, honey. I'm like, oh no, mm -mm. no, thank you, Aisha. Good morning. Oh, there you are. There you are. Good morning. Mwah. Hello. It's good to see you, Aisha. Dumps like a truck. All oh, right. Hey, Jonathan. Good morning, Jonathan. I hope things over at Cops are doing well. Hope you're having a good weekend. 
Um, so, uh, okay. So, so in reseller news, this is the email that I got from Akari and I'm going to read it verbatim. Um, because we were talking about this last week about the, uh, about the, about the $2 fees for, um, for moving money. Um, okay. Hi, Danan. I guess that's my code on Macari. I don't know. Um, on March 27th, 2024, Macari announced that it would begin charging a $2 fee, ACH charge, they have in quotes, uh, for all ACH direct deposit um, requests. Effective immediately through April 3rd at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time waiver period. I love how they do a lot of these. Macari will waive the ACH charge for ACH direct deposits made prior to the end of the waiver period for all eligible account holders. Um, all requests made after the end of the waiver period will incur the ACH charge. So it, it looks like what they're doing is doing like a grace period between when they will charge and when they won't. So like to introduce it more slowly, I guess, than the shock, than the shocking, you know, sort of thing that they dropped. Um, customers who, who were charged ACH charges or associated charges for rejection from ACH direct, direct deposit requests since March 27th, 2024, announcement will receive a refund in the form of an ACH direct deposit to their bank account on record. Macari will begin processing refunds on April 4th, 2024. Sincerely, Team Macari. And then there's an asterisk and it says customers with Macari account restrictions who are prohibited from initiating an ACH direct deposit request may not be eligible to participate. So... Okay, so what I'm gathering from this, um, what I'm gathering from this is that they're doing like a short, uh, a short period of time where you can go ahead and move your money from Macari to the bank without that extra $2 fee. And then they're going to initiate that $2 fee after everybody's had a chance to do that um, on, uh, on, on April the... Ha -cha 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 -cha, um, on April the 4th, oh, April, yeah, April the 3rd at midnight Pacific Daylight Time, which is like 2 a.m. my time, 3 a.m. on the East Coast, I guess. So if you have monies that you're moving from, uh, from Macari to your bank account, you can do it without the, without the extra $2 add-on fee until April the 3rd, until midnight at April the 3rd Pacific Daylight Time. So that is the reseller news that I've got. Zero, hello, good morning. Mwah. Good morning. Hi, sugar. It's good to see you. Happy Easter. Let's see. I deleted my things the day I received the email. Ah, okay. Lisa, hello. Hi, Lisa's new adventure. Mwah. Hi, Lisa. It's good to see you, babe. I got nothing pending on Macari. Okay. Macari is being weird. They eliminated seller fees, but now are not charging a buyer fee. I Yeah. I don't sell enough to stay listed for $2. Yeah. Me too, boot. Yeah. Oh, Lynn, Lynn, good. I hope your dinner was delicious. I hope you had a wonderful dinner. Jojo, my sweet Jojo. Hello, Jojo Bells. Hi. Thank you for being here this morning. Let's see. Bar, uh, Tommy says, I love the Macari new changes and they've been working out well for me since the change. Sales have actually went up. Okay, good for you. Good. Uh, here's a seller who feels a little differently. The whole Macari thing is just annoying and unnecessary BS. I'm already tired of it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everybody's going to have their own take on, you know, whether or not a change is positive. Um, some changes I feel like 
my husband and I were just talking about this. Sometimes I feel like people change things um, just to justify the fact that they have a job. I've seen that happen in, in the corporate world, in, in, say, in hotel sales. I've seen it happen where, where they will switch up entire things simply to justify the fact that they're being paid because they're not selling anything. So yeah, it's, it's a little weird, a little weird to me. I sell like three things a month on Macari, so it doesn't drastically affect me, but I also don't think it's a smart change. Yeah. And you know, again, it just, it's a matter of perspective. I think it really does. It really is. Um, okay. So, uh, memberships, I got them. All the perks begin in April. So keep an eye out for those. Um, and membership roll call, roll call. And uh, my sissy and I are working on a roll call uh, video, but we've both been so overscheduled for the past couple of weeks. So, um, so it's, that's probably going to come out in April as well. Uh, I'd like to thank my members, uh, Mike and Mark, two old guys, vintage Carol with Carol's creative corners, Teresa with yarn again, Lindsay and Alvin with drink and dive dumpster diving UK Kelly with Collect with Kelly and Veronica Mitke with Veronica Mitke, Aisha Dancer, Kristen, my show me homie. Um, and for all of the new members today, <gasps> and Joe Mouse, yay! Okay, Joe, here we go. Here we go, Joe. <laughs> Joe Mouse, thank you so much for being a member of the channel. I have 12 new members today. Um, and if you don't know, and again, Joe Mouse, thank you so much, so, so much. Mwah. I appreciate your membership. Um, if you don't know, uh, uh, Kelly with Collect with Kelly purchased uh, 10 new memberships Uh for um, for people in the chat. And I'm so, so grateful for your generosity. Veronica Mitke purchased a new membership um, for Jennifer. And I am so grateful for your generosity. Thank you so much. 12 new members today. Yeah. Oh my God. Roll call most of the chat. That's true. <laughs> most of my chat. Joe. Oh, thank you again comment from my child. That's such a catchy song. He danced to it. That was, uh, yeah, that's, that's straight out of boo. That's straight out of boo Two productions right there. I, everything that you see on my channel, that's a pre-recorded, like, thank you, intro, outro, all of that stuff. That's all my sister. That's my sister being a genius and, uh, being uh, much better to me than I deserve. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, okay, Michael, my angel. Oh, thank you for being a member. Oh, my God. Michael is lucky number 13. Thank you so much, Michael. I, I truly, truly appreciate each and every member in this chat. I, I appreciate you. Anyone who's bought memberships for others, I appreciate that too. I think it's incredible. I wish I had a sister. Well, there are times when you can borrow mine, um, but she's expensive. So just, you know, just be on the lookout for that. No, she's not expensive. She did cost me six hours of uh, of uh, potato salad making and um, and uh, uh, deviled egg making yesterday. <laughs> that was about it. <laughs> yeah, not all sisters are great. I like mine. I I wouldn't I wouldn't dream of uh, I wouldn't dream of ever not loving my sister. She's she's fantastic, and I am extremely lucky. Yes. And there's the family that you choose, you know, never underestimate the family that you choose. Do you have friends that are like sisters? Cause your own sister and I is, are not the same sisters. Yeah. I would gladly trade my brother and his wife for a sister. <laughs> mm. 
this is my sister. There are many like her, but this one is mine. That's so true. That's so true. <laughs> I love my sister, but I'm glad she lives eight hours away. Yeah, sometimes, Kelly. Oh, my God. Dodo. Dodo just became a member. <laughs> Oh my God, this is crazy. Dodo, this is for you. I love it. Oh my God. Guys, this is too, this is too much. It's awesome. Holy cow, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to redo my um shut up, shut the front door. Excuse me. You guys are just absolutely, you're too generous. You're too generous. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, really. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. God, you guys are awesome. Uh, no, we'll, we'll get to the salty treats. We're going to skip salty treats today for Easter. And then, um, and then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do them later. Hmm, excuse me. Um, hmm. Let's, uh, okay, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about sales this week. Um, let's see. Okay, uh, so last week we stopped with the Ralph Lauren Polo Vintage Argyle Cardigan. Uh, and uh, the Madewell had just sold right before the show, so we didn't include that. So um, so this Madewell pair of shorts, high-waisted jean cutoff shorts, um, they sold for 10. I netted 705. That was part of a uh, denim box that I got for like $34, I think, 35 bucks. Arthur Hugs Not Drugs uh, tie-dye blue t-shirt small. Um, that was a junior's and I bought it for, uh, for one of my grandkids. And then they decided that they didn't like it. So I just turned around and sold it. It it's, I sold it for far less than I bought it for. Well, not far less. I mean, I bought it for 10 plus shipping and I sold it for five and I earned $2 back. So, you know, but it sold. So that was nice. Um, I also had a Magashoni designer, um, it's a knot, front knot, soft navy top. That thing was so soft. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. That was soft. Um, and I said that sold for 38 and my earnings for that were $30.40. Uh, let's see. We have the uh, cherry print button-up cardigan. I love this cardigan. Let me go ahead and, and click on this because look at it. Oh, look at it. She's fantastic. Fantastic. She's covered in cherry. She was just adorable. Um, it was, uh, it was, that was like a, I forget what the brand was, but it was, it was not anything that was a fantastic brand. Let's see, where's my brand tag? It's, it's on here somewhere. Yeah, it was like, it was like catalog favorites. So it wasn't anything major. It was a 2X. Um, but it was, I, it was just so cute when I found it. And sometimes you just have, you just have to trust your instincts. And I sold it for full price, $30. Um, and I earned 24 on that. And I had one of the descriptors that I had was rockabilly. And I think that actually kind of helped it. Now my sister gave me this beautiful Portland leather goods, dark Brown bag. Um, and I sold it for, for, uh, less than, less than it would on resale. Usually on resale, they go between 30 and 40. Um, there was, but those are 30 and 40 that go on resale for like new with tags or never used condition. 
And so um, because there was some interior uh, signs of use uh, and discoloration, um, I sold it for 20. I thought that was a fair price and they snatched it up right away. And that's when, you know, you're like, oh, I kind of undersold that then. Um, but I earned 16 on that free of charge. And thank you very much, uh, Sissy, for your awesome taste in handbags. And let's check the, uh, oh, hey, Todd, how you doing? Happy Easter. Hello. It's good to see you this morning. Did I miss anybody else coming in? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Y'all got me tripping this morning. Y'all got me twisted, twisted up and, and emotional, but thank you so much for your incredible generosity. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to quit, quit doing that. Okay. So, um, where were we? We were at, uh, with the Portland leather good bags. I had a champion black crew neck sweatshirt that was large. Uh, it was it sold for 17 and I made 11.58 on that because I offered a shipping discount. Um, I also had a Scottish bagpiper bunnet, not a bonnet, but a bunnet, black with feathers. It's so cute. Look at this. Mark and Michael gave me that. And I thought it was wonderful, but I have no place to store it and, and just nothing I can really wear it to. So I put it online to sell um, and it sold for 17 and I made 1360 on that because there was no shipping discount. Um, whoop, come on now. There we go. Uh, I had some rag and bone Casey flare jeans, uh, size 31, I had 30 on them, took an offer for 23 and the, uh, so I made 1840 on those. Um, I had some not your daughter's jeans, mid rise, medium wash, ankle jeans, 22 W, um, that I sold for 15 and I made 12 on that. And those came in another jean box. Armani Colazioni ivory check pattern jacket, size six. Um, I picked that up at a Goodwill once and that sold for 50 and I made 40. The uh, Savage uh, print gray baseball cap, uh, which was new with new with tags, uh, sold for $10. Um, and it was originally from Target. Um, and I forget how I ended up with it, but it wasn't, I wouldn't have ended up with it for anything less, anything more than $2. Um, so that sold for 10 and I made 705. Now I did sell right before I went live for some reason. Um, I did sell the Roberto Vienna, Vienna Valencia double monk strap dress shoes. Those came in a thread up shoe box. I had a hundo on them and they sold for 75, but we'll talk about those next week. They're not part of this week's numbers. So I don't want to sell. Um, I don't want to show or include those if, if they're not, if I don't already have the numbers for them. Um, so let's see, did I miss anybody coming in? Yeah. Happy Easter, Todd. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah. I was really happy about that, uh, sale this morning, <laughs> right before I go live too. I'm like, man, I could have had some knocked out of the park numbers, but, but you know, I mean, I, it, it's next week. They'll be part of next week. So altogether, I had 11 sales this week. I sold one pair of shorts, one tee, one top, two sweaters. Uh, one, one was the sweater, one was the jumpsuit, or not jumpsuit, but the uh, hoodie or sweatshirt. Um, one bag, uh, two accessories, um, two pairs of jeans and a jacket. So really, my, my sales were kind of all across the board. Um, and then, uh, my gross was $235. My net was $182 and 13 cents. And that's after seller fees. And that's after shipping discounts and discounts. Um, and then the 182.13 minus the 11 sales with the $3 average cost of goods made $33. So my net 182.13 minus my cost of goods, $33 average. Uh, was 149.13. So that was not a bad week on Poshmark. What is going on? Oh my God. 
I give up. <laughs> Y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop this. This is don't stop. Don't ever stop. This is so fantastic. Oh my god. Mwah. Oh, you really making my Easter? Michael, this is for you. I love you. <laughs> Oh my God, that is all the new members today, and I am blown away, blown away. You guys are, uh, you're too generous, and, and I absolutely love you for it. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And hello, good morning, Georgie. Hello, happy Easter. Happy Easter. It's been a happy one for me, I can tell you that. It's been crazy. Brenda said 41 and 2. Oh, man. I don't know what those numbers mean, but I like them. I deserve it. I'm not sure that I do, but, you know, but, but I will take it. I will take it with a thank you and, and a very humble, humble thank you. Very humble thank you. Thank you. Jeez. It is 10.50 a.m. And I do want to give a few. Your cat was on the keyboard. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so adorable. That is so adorable. No, you got to be a mod silver hair stacker, but I can be bribed. <laughs> she is bribable. Um, I did want to, so stay tuned this week. I will go live with the salty treat, but I'm not going to ruin this morning with, with, you know, with two, with a lot of salt. I, I, I just don't, we're going to skip that part today. Um, I do want to send out some sweets. Uh, happy birthday to my one and only brother, um, who I love, uh, I have loved since the moment I met him and started following him around. Uh, he is, he's, I've loved him my entire life and, and will love him forever. Um, happy birthday, uh, happy birthday, Michael from uh, Two Old Guys Vintage. I hope your birthday was fantastic. I hope it was epic and wonderful. Um, happy birthday to, I think Ella had a birthday on Monday. Ella's with Safe Here First. Uh, so happy birthday to Ella. Um, and just FYI, Veronica Mitka is going live at 11 a.m. Um, and uh, and she is, um, oh my God, Regina. Veronica Mitka is going live at 11 a.m. So she's going live in about seven minutes. Regina, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your membership. Premiere, not live, but yes. Well, it's live enough. Regina, thank you so much. This is for you. <laughs> I am super spoiled. I am spoiled. And I feel incredibly loved. And for that, I thank you so much. God. It's just, it's so much. Wow. Wow. I love it. I'm too broke to gift more. You didn't have to give the first one, Veronica. Yeah, don't do that. You're good. You're good. We're, we're good. I'm good. I'm fine. Oh my God. You guys are absolutely lovely and wonderful. And there's a reason why I do what I do. And it's because it's because you're all fantastic. And and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. This community is just so incredible. So incredible. 
So with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up so I can um, maybe uh, maybe go to the bathroom before Veronica starts her premiere. And I want to hop into that before I hop off and play Easter Bunny to all of my grandkids and leave things on the on the porches. I may not be a chatty person, but I'm watching and listening. You are awesome. Oh, Regina, you are. And trust me, the listeners of this world are are the chosen few. Uh, you know, it, it's it's uh, there is it doesn't take too much to 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 blab on, but it takes a, a great deal to actively listen uh, is your your trust me, your God's chosen few. Jennifer, stop. Oh, my God. Jennifer, thank you so much. You really did not have to do that. Thank you. This is for you. New game time gifting subs till Brenda is green. Oh my God. Brenda is a fantastic, she is fantastic. Uh, Kelly, stop. You got to stop. Don't ever stop. No, I'm joking. That, seriously, this is far too generous. Thank you so much, Kelly. Oh, my God. Kelly, this is for you and uh, Todd. Thank you. And Todd, this is for you. Just cause, just cause you're too much. You know. Oh my Lord have mercy. Okay. Y'all just going to make me sob. You got to stop. Please stop. <laughs> Don't stop. Don't ever stop. No, I truly, truly appreciate it. I, I am, I am uh, so grateful and so humbled. Wow. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anna, welcome as a new member. That is going to be in your head all week. Friends theme title, the one glamour's thank you video for 45 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have to get a uh, get a I, I've got another literally my sister sent me another one that's even cooler than this one. Um thank you video and I just haven't uploaded it yet because I I I know I downloaded it, but I have to figure out where I downloaded it to. <laughs> I'm a hot mess sometimes, guys, and especially this morning. <laughs> All right, I am gonna jump because because um, I I really do have to deliver Easter baskets. I'm the Easter bunny, so I've got my ears up now, and um, I just wanted to say, oh, this looks weird. <laughs> well, it's weird anyway. I just want to say thank you so much, and I apologize for getting a little overwhelmed, but wow, wow, what a Sunday! I I was certainly not expecting for my Easter to start off like this. So I'm going to go eat some of the best potato salad, I think, in Missouri. Um, and I'm going to have a, uh, this is why I don't gamble. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> You can try and try, but I will catch you on the flip side. And uh, please hit that link, uh, head over to Veronica's, let her know Glamo sent you. Um, and uh, everybody have a, please have a wonderful, happy lovely Easter. I hope the, I hope that you have great weather and no matter where you go. Oh my God, Kelly, go ahead and click on the link now, but Kelly, <laughs> this song is going to be in your head forever.
honestly, Kelly, I don't know. She may have, she may have actually, uh, is she still in the chat? She may have left the chat for a second. No, no, I don't know. Honestly, Kelly, I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm not sure how this works. I'm just new to memberships. Um, yeah, <laughs> Maggie, you probably cover in your ears. It'll gift uh, any subscriber randomly, even if not online. No, just one one month. Yeah. She may not have gifting turned on. That's true. There's like a gifting thing that you can turn on. Yeah, I don't know how it works either, Anne, but congratulations, everyone. I thought it was only actives in the chat. Me too, Kelly. Me too. I have no idea, but your experimentation was uh, pretty incredible today. Now let's let's uh wow, let's celebrate. It's on. Okay, Brenda. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Let's head on over to Veronica's. I'm going to go have a nice cry and then I'm going to head out and it's a happy cry. They're happy tears. So yeah. Thank you again so much. And um, please, please remember this Easter every day. Thank you. Glama loves you. Glama loves you. Have a great day. Happy Easter.